recently a family tragedy. A three-year-old girl run over by her father's car in their neighborhood. Investigators are looking into this deadly incident, but right now they're saying it appears to be just an accident. It happened on Logan Creek Lane near University Boulevard in Sugarland. That's where our Sally Mamdu is reporting live tonight. Sally? Dominique, unfortunately, these types of tragic accidents happen more often than you think. And tonight, this one Sugar Land family has to live with that tough reality. A parent's worst nightmare. He then tried to jump in the car and stop the vehicle, but it, it still ran over the child. Fort Bend County investigators say that on Tuesday morning, a father was getting ready to leave his Sugarland home and started his white Mercedes while his four-year-old and three-year-old daughters were outside the car. Then the unthinkable happened. We believe that he was uh, had one foot outside the car, one foot inside the car to, to push the brake, uh, as most push-button start you know, cars require. And when he did that, it, somehow he did put the car into reverse, and his child was here by his left. And when the car came backwards, the door hit her. Investigators say the father accidentally ran over the child, killing her. They later identified the child as three-year-old Dia Nipinani, her mother emotional as she was speaking to us. Now I don't have, I don't have my little one. Her sadness mixed with anger as the mother blamed the father for the accident, while also saying they were currently in the middle of a divorce. Dad was never paying attention to them, and now one life is lost. This is not fair. Justice needs to be served. But investigators say evidence gathered at the scene shows the tragedy was accidental. To charge, you have to figure out some kind of intent. You don't feel like he intended to run over his three-year-old child. Tonight, neighbors are hoping to come together for the now broken family. Oh, our heart goes out for the family. I mean, everybody's very concerned in the neighborhood, and... Uh, we're all thinking of what we could do for the family to help them out. So it's a very, very sad situation. Very devastating. Now, the investigation into this accident isn't over. Investigators say that they'll be looking at the surveillance camera that was actually pointed at the driveway to see whether the video matches what the father statement said earlier today. They will also be withdrawing blood from the father to ensure that he wasn't under any type of influence from alcohol or drugs. We are live in Sugarland. Sally Mamdou, KPRC, Channel 2 News.